Hello YouTube, this is DryingKit1313, and today I am going to show you how to install all the mods that I have on my new server that uh, is not up just yet, but it will be up soon, as you can see I have it right there. Um, so, some of the mods that I have, and I have a list of them right here, I have uh, Advanced Machines, uh, Buildcraft IC2 Crossover, Buildcraft, I have Code Chicken Core because I have NEI, this is not needed, but it's very helpful. Uh, I have Equivalent Exchange, I have Forestry, Industrial Craft 2, this isn't needed, but I like it, Inventory Tweaks. I have Compact Solars, IC2 Thermal, uh, Thermometer that is, uh, Iron Chest, Red Power, and uh, all that Red Power stuff. So, let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how to install this into your Minecraft client. First things first, you're going to need a clean install of uh, 1.2.3, you can see that I have whole bunch of backups here on my uh, desktop uh, something that you should do it's very helpful even though I could just use MC Nostalgia but you know it's whatever um, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go into your bin and actually I forgot something to find your .minecraft folder just in case you don't know this you go into your start menu you type percent app data percent easy and then you press enter and it goes to your roaming folder and then you can go to your .minecraft folder. As you can see, I have a shortcut though. So you double click on bin, and for this you're going to need either 7-zip or WinRAR, basically some type of archiving program. When you right click on Minecraft, you're going to say open with WinRAR archiver. And you're going to get this screen right here. First things first, you're going to delete the meta inf, as you would do with pretty much any other mod that you would uh, install. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to find where you downloaded Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and um, not enough items. And then Minecraft Forge will get to later, and you also need Audio Mod uh, because this isn't the correct version for my server. So I'll go, I'll show you guys that uh, later. But anyways, for Mod Loader, um, basically when you get all these, they'll be in zip files. Um, you can go ahead and, uh, like I just went ahead and extracted them, I don't really know why, but you really don't have to do that. Uh, so if I have the zip file right here, and you double click on Mod Loader, you highlight all of these, and then you drag and drop into your Minecraft.jar. Good, you're done with Mod Loader. Let's move on to Mod Loader MP. Again, you just click and drag and press OK. Easy enough. Now with Minecraft Forge, you're going to go to wherever you have that downloaded. The version that you need is uh, client version 1.4.1.59. You do need this or else you may get a few errors. So anyways, you're going to highlight all this as you can see and you're just going to drag and drop. Easy enough, correct? Um, now we're going to go back to where we had audio mod installed. You're going to highlight all that, and then drag and drop into your minecraft.jar. And then last, you're going to have your not enough items client, and you're going to click and drag that into your minecraft.jar as well. So pretty awesome. Now if you were to start it up now, you would probably get an error. Why? Because you installed not enough items, but you did not install the code chicken core. The way that you do this, um, now either you could launch it, then you could have this folder automatically created for you, or you could just create a new folder and call it mods, all lowercase, spelled exactly as it is right there. Make sure it is spelled like this or else it will not work. Then you're going to go to where you have everything installed, and you're going to get Code Chicken Core Client 0.4.3, and I will have all these versions um, either in a forum or a Minecraft forum, or possibly in the description. I haven't really decided yet. Um, and anyway, you're just going to copy it into the mods folder. Copy here. Now you could copy everything else over, but we're just going to go ahead and open up Minecraft to make sure everything works. Um, just so you guys know that I'm not lying or anything. So we're going to go ahead and start up our Minecraft. It's going to take a while, and I really don't know why. It's just been doing that for quite a bit. So we're just going to wait for this. Don't update. Again, this is for client 1.2.3, um, basically because not all the mods are updated for bucket. 
uh, 1.2.5 so I just went ahead and did this so as you can see if you get this screen you've done everything right so far you've installed mod loader mod loader MP you've installed Minecraft Forge the audio mod you have installed not enough items as well as code chicken core so pretty cool now you can just go ahead and exit out of that we're not going to need it anymore go back into your uh, minecraft folder as you can see right here and find out where you had all your mods saved as you can see i have all of them right here and what you're going to do is you're going to have one over here and then you're going to have one over here and you're going to go into your mods now code chicken core is already selected so i'm just going to deselect that and I'm also going to deselect EE2 uh, equivalent exchange because you have to do something different with that. So as you can see, some of the versions that I have are 3.8 for advanced machines. I have Buildcraft 2.2.13. Make sure you have the uh, Buildcraft 2.2, or else it will not work. Another thing to make sure you have is the additional pipes mod for mine or for Buildcraft 2. Point, uh, whatever, whatever. If you get it for Buildcraft 3, it will not work. Another thing to make sure is to make sure that you get Forestry Client for Buildcraft 1. Point, or Buildcraft 2.2. Uh, this is also uh, completely necessary. So what you're going to do is you're just going to drag and drop and copy them all over there. And then you should be good to go. Now there's one more thing. Uh, you'll notice that I skipped installing a Clovon Exchange 2. This is because it comes in the zip file. You can't just simply drag and drop this zip file in here. What you have to do is you have to double click on it and you'll notice that it gives you two more files. What you're going to do is inside this mods file mods folder you'll see that there's EE2v1415. You're just going to drag and drop that into your mods folder. All right. Or you could always just copy the whole thing, but I'm just going to do it like this. So as you can see, if we go in here, you'll see that we have EE2 mod V1415. And then with the resources, what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop this whole folder into your Minecraft folder. And it'll probably say something like uh, this already exists, and you could just click overwrite, and you should be good. Now... The final test is to open up Minecraft. By the way, this will not work. I just want to show you guys what will happen. You know, not update. Uh, make sure that you don't press update because I've done that quite a few times now. Um, and then once it loads up and it's not going to, just kind of wait. You'll see that we got an error. All right. So this happens for a few reasons. In this case, it happened because of a um, oh, a item ID um, disagreement. Basically, there are two blocks that are trying to use the uh, same item ID or yeah, item ID. So in order to fix this, and this is actually necessary, you have to change it exactly as I'm going to change it, or else you're just it won't work if you're going to try to connect to my server um, because it has to be the same. So anyways, you're going to go into here, mod uh, underscore EE. It is a props file. You're just going to open it. If it asks you what program you want it to open with, you're going to choose uh, uh, just notepad, which is simple enough. And as you can see, block EE device, which is the problem that was occurring in our uh, error screen that we got, we're going to change this to 182. It would help if I had a uh, numlock one. So as you can see, block E device equals 182. Make sure you have that exactly as it is if you're going to try and connect to my server. Now, if you're not going to try to connect to my server and you just want to use this for your own purposes, then it doesn't really matter. You could change it however you want. But for now, we're just going to do that. We're going to save it, and then we're going to exit out. Now, at this point, you're pretty much ready to log into my server. But if you want to, I don't know, let's say start a single player world in here, there's a few things that you may want to do. First things first, uh, after we go ahead and start this up so we make sure we have all the config files that we can um, edit, going to log in. Ooh, just wait a little bit. Come on. I'm gonna click not now. They're going to wait more. And as you can see, it, it loaded up correctly. 
Now you just go ahead and quit game, go back into our .minecraft folder. Now you can see that we have a few more uh, files that we can mess around with. First thing that you're going to want to do if you have a single player world that you want to start, you're going to click on your red power folder, you're going to click on this redpower.cfg. You're then going to scroll all the way over until you see copper, silver, and tin. Uh, by default they are all set to equaling 1. What you have to do is you have to make copper equal to 0 and tin equal to 0. Not 10, 0. Not 9, 0. And then you're going to save it and you should be all good. Now basically what that does is it disables the generation of tin and copper ore that belong to red power. The reason why we're doing this is because we already have industrial craft uh, installed and that's going to create its own tin and copper. So we don't really need that to happen. Another mod that generates its own, own tin and copper is forestry. So if we click on our in our Minecraft, dot Minecraft, we're going to click on config, we're going to click on forestry, and then we're going to double click on base. Now we're going to scroll down, and as you can see, set the false to false forestry to uh, skip generating beehives in the world. We want copper ore blocks and tin ore blocks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set this equal to false. Same with this, we're just going to go false. Make sure you spell it right by the way. And then we're going to save that, and then we can exit out, and everything is all right. And one more, one more time, I'm going to log in just to show you guys that everything works. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm trying to make this a quicker video, that way you guys can be on your ways to joining my server, which is not up just yet. It'll actually be up uh, the week after this video is posted. So uh, just keep an eye out for that. Again, follow me on Twitter if you are really interested in joining the server. That way you can get all the updates uh, that have to do with said server. So, oh no. I know what I did though, though guys. So here, you notice that I got another error. The reason why I did th why this happened is because I screwed up with uh, the red power uh, CFG. I added like another space of some sort. So I'm just going to delete it and basically to solve this you log back into your Minecraft and then it'll create a new config file that you can edit. So let me go ahead and edit that. I'm going to get a new one and then I'll be back just to show you guys that everything worked. That was just me screwing up. But you know nothing new. Alright so as you can see I logged in just fine. We're going to go to single player create new world. We're just going to create a random world just so I could show you that everything is working. It's going to generate the level and everything shall be just fine. As you can see we spawned. The world is just going to load around me. As you can see, here's something from forestry so we know that loaded right. If we go in here, you'll see that we have you know all those fun mods. And we can see that everything is installed correctly. And congratulations, you have now installed all the mods that are required to join my server. Which again is not up just yet. Just wait a few more days and everything shall be good. So, anyways, this has been Drawing Kit 1313 on how to install some of the mods that I use for Minecraft 1.2.3. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you join my server. Till next time, I'll see you.